so in my 30s, I wonder if that old man knew something I didn't know. So I asked my dad, dad, could you teach me Tai Chi? And he showed me. And I said, this is good stuff. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me this is good stuff? Okay, so fast forward now, I have been teaching for about 20 years and my dad made his transition in 2010. And when he made his transition, he says, daughter, you will promise me that as long as there's one person who wants to learn Tai Chi, you will teach it. I figure that's an easy promise. It's not a popular exercise. Nobody knows about it. You know, it's so slow. He made his transition in 2010. And you know what? Since then, I have never had a class where nobody shows up. You all showed up. Where did you all come from? <laughs> Why are you interested in this exercise? Yeah. All right. So since I have just 20 precious moments with you, and I want to tell you something also. Now, right now, you're all sitting very comfortably. You're very sitting very comfortably. I want to tell you, of course, that Tai Chi has to be done standing up. Oh, well, before I have you stand up, I'm going to tell you the why you do something rather than just do the how. This is the way I operate in, in my classes, too. If I just show you um, the why, you know, Marilyn, Paul, you, know, you move your hand here, you move your head here, you'll do a few times, and then you're not going to do it anymore. But if I told you why you do something, even if I'm not around, you're going to, to be doing it. And I love the why because whoever designed this exercise from the very, very beginning, it was not for fighting. I want to let you know that too. My whole whole role in, in reintroducing Tai Chi is in the very beginning, it was just designed to help you stay alive, to help you stay healthy, to help you sh to stay, stay well. Over years, somebody fell in love with it and go, hey, with this power, I could do some damage, can I? I don't want you to do damage. I do not want you to do damage. So there is a side product. You know, people say, oh, side effects, side effects. Usually side effects are horrible. But I'm telling you, what you want from this exercise is that chi energy, QI. Who the heck thought of spelling it with a Q? <laughs> it's pronounced chi, okay? So do any of you know what chi is? Um, sort of, you see, Pamela says, I know, I know, you know. Well, it's energy. And, you know, there are many things we do that's called energy work. When I used to talk about this five or six years ago, I talk about energy science, energy medicine, energy, uh, or, or they thought I was crazy. But now all of you talk about energy science, energy. Work. Now, do you all believe in energy? Yeah. Okay. Do you also believe in negative energy? Whoa. Yeah. Is there such a thing as a toxic environment? Whoa. Are there such thing as toxic people? Whoa. Oh, okay. All right. So here's the deal. If you choose to do Tai Chi, you choose to do energy work. So right now, the warning is once we start to activate this Tai Chi energy in you, and you will, the minute I start you on this program, I want to warn you that I had some people who took a Tai Chi class very first day. After they went home, they started to cry. Warning, warning, warning. Okay. What do you mean they start to cry? Remember when I say energy work, you're going to activate this energy that's in all of you. There is a, such a thing called stuck energy. There's good energy. There's bad energy. There's stuck energy. What is stuck energy? Now, all of you are here. You know, you want to reach your highest in your potential. You want to reach higher, high. And I'm saying <clears throat> when you do want to reach higher uh, sources, and you go for Tai Chi, there is a thing called stuck energy. 
What is that, Elliot? You tell me. Have you ever been, if you haven't been betrayed or hurt or angered, and you say, nah, it doesn't bother me. I'm okay. But it, it does bother you. It does bother you. And you don't say a thing. Guess what? That's called stuck energy. Whatever is eating at you is still in you. But when you start to look at this energy, activate it, and it's going to go through your whole body and looks through you, he's going to say, Kathy, what is that? It's been around there for 15 years, you know, yeah, but it's still there. Okay. But when you start to do this and the chi energy goes through your body and all of a sudden it pops that stuck energy. <clears throat> so she was crying, my student. She came to me the next day and said, Elliot, I was crying all night. You call, you call this a health energy? I said, you were crying? Yeah. Yay. Oh, you're so mean. Yeah, get it out of you. Get it out of you. But I also have people who said, oh, see, I'm throwing a little disclaimer. I took a Tai Chi class at the summit, and I went home, and I was itching all over. I was itching all over. You know, say, you were itching all over? <gasps> yay. What does that mean, yay? Okay, let me ask you this. If you decided to do some house cleaning, like, oh, you know, you're going to get the feather duster and you're dusting and it just dust all over the house and you started to clean your house and all of a sudden the dust flies all over it and your eyes are watery and then you are sort of sneezing, you know, um, are you going to stop house cleaning? <laughs> no. So again, when we activate this chi energy in you, this chi energy is going to go to task and find all these things that have snuck into you through your nooks and cranny. I'm telling you, all of you, energy comes from all different sources, you know, from your environment, from your thoughts, from when you're watching the news, you know, mental energy, spiritual energy, energy is energy. So this chi energy with you, He's going to go to task and so forth. But right now, I don't really just want to talk to you about the theory. This exercise is experiential. I want you to experience it, okay? So a couple of things, of course, um, because this is online, uh, I really want to take advantage of the online and flash a couple of, of, of pictures to you, okay? <clears throat> I, bear with me. Ooh, I get to use screen share, screen share, okay? Do not ever complain about online meetings again because you know this is better than those projectors that you have to set up for slide production, okay? Like screen share, screen share. You know, I dragged this poster with me. I dragged this poster with me to almost every one of my beginning class. Now, I'm not going to give you the whole lecture about what it is, but I want you to have a visual of why um, I'm talking about not only Chinese medicine, but Western medicine. Everything I'm going to tell, to, tell it to you is a combination of, of both because we're talking about integrative medicine these days. It's never East versus West medicine. It's not holistic versus ultra, uh, you know, uh, allopathic, both. Take the word visits out. Now, I love Western medicine because it gives me these diagnostic machines where I'm going to say, hey, what do you look like inside? These x-rays brought to you by Western medicine. Now, why do I need to care about that in Tai Chi? Ooh, bad combination. If you happen to look like this and you fall, that's not a good idea. Okay. Now, take a look at this chart. You know, this is called normal. You know, this is how you look like inside. And then this is called osteopenia, where your bones are thinning. And then you get to be this osteoporosis. Whoa, you know. Now, that used to be saying a woman's problem. That's your woman's issue. You're afraid. But, gentlemen, this direction, this direction that we're all going through is the A word, aging, aging. Okay, so you're all going through this way. And this is a bad combination. This is a bad combination. That's why I said it's so important for me to now um, alert you to why 
the Tai Chi walk is such an integral part of your, your life as well. Just in case, if you don't know, know what you look like, it used to be like, oh, grandma uh, fell and she broke her bones, you see. Nowadays, we say grandma's bones broke and then she fell. So in this class, I showed you a bad combination, hollow bones and stuff like that. But I also will say, I want to show you a good combination as well. So on the bottom rung there, I also showed you the good combination. Look at this good combination. <clears throat> real food, I'm not talking real food, real food. The food that grandma used to feed you and you grow in, okay. I also have a drop of water um, because I didn't used to say you need water. You need to hydrate. And then if you can't eat from this real food, you need to have supplements that are food-based. And then the last of all, we have this thing called exercise. Doctors recommend 20 to 30 minutes of exercise every day. Now I happen to choose Tai Chi. I showed you a whole list of reasons, but I'm not going to talk about it. I want you to feel the reason. For example, why I love Tai Chi, three reasons. Number one, it is the most unpretentious exercise there is. You could just show up as you are. You don't need a, you don't need equipment. You don't need weights. You don't need a bicycle. You don't need a mat. You don't even need those cute little yoga outfits. How about that? You know, how many of you are afraid to go to yoga class because you don't have those cool little outfits? No, with Tai Chi, you know, Paul, just show up as you are. Ray, I don't care what you're wearing. This is fine. Loose, comfortable clothing. I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> okay. So the, the, the second thing I want to, to say why I love this Tai Chi as an exercise that's for everybody is that it's low impact. I'm telling you, I have totally destroyed my knees from jumping jacks. Do you remember those old days when it was okay to do jumping jacks? It's not okay to do jumping jacks. Those joints of yours, you know, your bone replaces itself 10 times in a lifetime. Ooh, did you know that? Your hair replaces itself, your, your skin. The bone, whole skeletal replaces itself 10 times in a lifetime. That's the good news. What's the bad news? By the time you're 20, it replaces itself five times already. That means from 20 to happily ever after, <laughs> you gotta spread those five times over to, to, to all these years. But what does that mean? Don't worry, everything that comes out of my, my mouth, I promise you that I have good news with the bad news, okay? The good news, the bad news. So the good news is that you are, are your, your factory is still making stuff, but your factory is slowing down and it makes a little bit less each time. So therefore, be really, really mindful that this factory of yours is still producing. It will produce uh, beautiful things for you, as, especially this chi thing that I'm talking about. So the last thing I wanted to tell you is why the third reason is that it is doctors recommend weight bearing. What weight bearing? You say weight bearing. What do you mean weight bearing? You told me I don't need barbells because it, I'm telling you, where's the weight? You're sitting on it. You're sitting on this weight. Didn't I tell you Tai Chi has to be done standing up? I'll show you why. Ta da! Yeah, I told you that this exercise is brought to you by Chinese medicine. How many of you have gone to an acupuncturist before? Oh, some of you, some of you, okay. In case you haven't, I told you this body is designed to be beautiful. There are, there are meridian points throughout your whole body. There are meridian channels throughout your body. Go to an acupuncture studio, you see, they look like roadmaps, but they're channels. They're channels where your chi travels. And guess who designed this body to put those meridian points on the bottoms of your feet? Look at that. 
the whole in that your whole whole anatomy. Here's my lungs. Here's my spleen. Here's my 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 heart. Here's my liver. Okay, wow. So guess what? Sitting is the new smoking. Sitting is the new smoking. Ah, how many have you guys been sitting for the last hour and a half? Uh-huh. Okay. Ever since COVID happened, how many times have you been sitting? I yeah, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Okay. So now that you know, I want you to be up on your feet. Turn those buttons on. Oh no. Okay. I'm all right. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. You got me. I got me. Okay. So now I'm standing. I'm on my feet. The meridian points are on. Okay. Not only do I want them on, I want you to toggle those buttons. Okay. What do you mean? On, off. I want you to now to, to activate the chi. Chi comes from two sources. The first source is Mother Earth. You're standing on her, plug into her. The second source is you. You are all chi making machines. How do I activate the chi? How do I get it? You move, okay. You move your way to the left. You move the way to your right. And guess what? While you are moving, the body starts to wake up that chi, activate the chi, and starts to move that chi. Every moving part of you is getting the chi going. Every part that's not moving is not getting the chi. Like that car battery, when the car is moving, the battery is charging. When you are moving, the chi is charging. Nothing is ever wasted in this exercise. Yeah, respect the anatomy. Now, I want you to move all your weight to your left side. There's no weight on the right side. On your heel, turn it, turn your foot at the heel. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Now put the weight on that foot, and when there's weight on that foot, do not move it, you'll hurt yourself. Take the weight off that foot, and when there's no weight on it, look how easy it is to turn it. Crisp, clean, herbal mammoth, you see. Now do it with the other foot too. When there's no weight on it, you can move it. Crisp, clean, ergonomic. When you have the weight on it, do not move it. You'll hurt your quads, your, your legs, your, your knees. Take the weight off and turn it at the heel. Yeah. Now everything you learn in this workshop is not just for the workshop because after workshop, you know, oh, you're washing the dishes, you know, and suddenly the phone ring, suddenly the phone ring, I'll get it. Oh, oh, what did I, what did teacher tell you? Oh, don't do that. What should you do? The phone is ringing. Wait is on this foot, this foot turns, you know. Hello, I just learned how not to hurt myself. Bye-bye. Okay, so that actually is your Tai Chi. Now, I want you to do what we call the Tai Chi walk. What is the Tai Chi walk? You saw the chart that I showed you. Bottoms of the feet, remember? I want you to activate every single meridian point on the bottoms of the feet. What does that mean? When you walk, I want the heel to hit first and the toes. The heel to hit first and the toes. Make sure you cover every inch on the bottoms of those feet, okay? Yeah, get ready. Left foot, right foot. You are in the safety of your own studio. You don't need to wear a mask. You don't have to worry about COVID. You can do the Tai Chi walk in your house. Left foot, right foot. Put all the weight on that left foot and slowly lift the right foot up. Put the heel down first and then the toes. Same thing with the other foot. You put the heel down first and the toes. As you're walking from heel to toes, from heel to toes, if you indeed are covering every inch on the bottoms of the feet, you are turning on the respiratory system. You are turning on the meridian. You are turning on the, 
digestive system, activate the respiratory system. How about the cardiovascular system? You know, in China, they go to the acupuncturist three times a week, not because they have problems, not because they have illness. They call this general maintenance. When I have you walk from heel to toes, I am covering an entire system. Chinese medicine never talks about an organ. When I have you activate your digestive system, you are turning on the spleen, the gallbladder, the liver, the kidneys, the duodenum. And when I have you activate your cardiovascular system, I am not just dealing with the heart. I am activating the capillaries, the veins, the aorta, all being turned on as you're doing your Tai Chi walk. Remember, this is called general maintenance. Now, I would like you to incorporate this into your lives. For example, when you are now walking, know that you're walking with purpose. It's not just a casual stroll. So when I want to go, even when you go to the grocery stores, right? You're pushing the cart. You're pushing the cart. You make sure you're doing your Tai Chi walk. You're going from heel to toes, all the way in the supermarket. And someone's going to say, what are you doing, lady? Why do you have that silly grin on your face? <laughs> when you're doing your Tai Chi walk, you're saying, what are you doing? And you're going to say, oh, you do not know where I'm getting my chi. You do not know how I'm taking such good care of my body. Okay. You see, now you all know that the Tai Chi meditative walk, because when you walk, you're thinking about all this wonderful thing that you're doing for your body. And I'm telling all of you, your body is your best friend. Your body is, I know you bad mouth it all the time. Okay. <laughs> you know, but it has served you well and it will continue to serve you for all that the body does for you. Don't you think you owe it something? Yeah. You owe it something. So promise me that you will eat real food, hydrate your body, take the supplements in case you can't eat real food, and you're going to do that Tai Chi walk every day, everywhere. Okay, good. So that's your, your story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, <laughs> are there any questions? We have so, two minutes. If you have any questions, please raise your hand. I have a question. Sure. How easy, or is it, okay, I go to ex, uh, exercise class four times a week, and I want to know, is it necessary to actually have to attend the Tai Chi in person? Can I, like, do it, have it on YouTube and go like that? Are you on YouTube? Um, I am, I, I've been teaching um, online ever since COVID started. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a good question because um, what I want you to, to do um, uh, is that most of my classes are, are interactive, you see. So I'm not like a Jane Fonda tape that you put on and you just follow. Uh, because what did my, my, my dad, a Tai Chi master, said, practice does not make permanent. It uh, does not make perfect. It makes permanent. You know, so if you're doing it wrong, <laughs> you're, you're, you, it's become so ingrained. So when I teach, I have all my students um, open up their cameras. So that's why Cynthia was asking, you know, for you to to open up your camera so that, that I could see like, whoa, you know, you're bending your arms, you, you, you bend it too much or you're, you're so far. So because this this exercise is is very specific about where you put your foot, um, not because it's, it's really picky, but the way the anatomy is designed is just matching your anatomy. There's certain ways you shouldn't bend your legs. There's certain way you shouldn't move your feet, you know, but leave it to them, not only to find out a perfect place to put your foot, but how you could get more energy. 
how you can make more energy. You know, and after you've done this exercise, you're, you look at the palms of your hand. And they're going to be reddish. They're going to be reddish a, as well. Now, we just had a sampling of it. But yeah. <clears throat> uh, so is it possible to teach, your, you teach yourself Tai Chi? You could. You, you could. Um, but but the, as a teacher, um, I worry. <laughs> I worry about how, how you're learning. So um, I also have cheat sheets that I, I give my students. Um, and so uh, why do I call them cheat sheets? Because my master never gave me um, those those instructions, you know. Um, and, and so the reason that that it's important for me to see is you're in the old days, you're with the master every day. You know, and the master could be looking at you. But with my students who are taking uh, my class once a week, I'll just say, like, hey, did I teach you that, Paul? I don't remember me teaching you that. You know, okay, Kathy, what did you do with the move? You know, that's where where it's interactive. And I, and I see that as well. Thank you, Elliot. This was wonderful. Everybody give a round of applause.